Fort is part of the team. We call this recess. These are the kennels. They hold about ten dogs. And every morning, we go down and we just let them all out and take them for about a mile or two walk. Oh. Sport is down here. About the third kennel down. The dogs are all in the training to be antler dogs. We'll get to sport here in just a minute. And they rough house and they play grab. Okay, they do whatever they need to do to burn off some energy. Okay, and then I just start, I start walking. This is him down here on the ground making all that noise. But he's part of the team. There he goes right there. He's attacking somebody. But this is what happens at Antler Ridge every morning. Okay, and my pit bull here. Okay. And this morning there'll probably be about 12 dogs, 13, 14 dogs. It doesn't make any difference how many I have. Okay. First thing we do is we walk down to the pond. I don't talk to them. I don't pay any attention to them. They have to learn to become independent. About the only time we put a leash on one of them is just to introduce the dog to the leash so they understand what it is. But we don't want them dependent upon us, okay? Because if one of the most important things these dogs can do is be independent and out running and hunting and doing their own thing. If they just want to walk along and wait for some kind of command from you or to wait for you to throw a stick, okay, there he is again. Now they're all off over here in the pond. We're now kind of in a shaded area where we start into the woods. We can take them for, I don't know, a mile or two miles or three miles, whatever we decide to go. You're going to see a bunch of them come running past me here in a minute. There's some in front, some in back. Some coming this way, some coming that way. But they learn to deal with other dogs, too, you know, as they progress. So these are all labs today. But it doesn't really make any difference if I have a German Shepherd or a Beagle or whatever. I've been doing this for close to 50 years now, no matter if I'm, what kind of dogs I was training, whether or not they were search and rescue dogs or hunting dogs of some kind, pointers, setters. I've trained a couple thousand dogs to do all kinds of different things. Work with some of the top bomb dog and drug dog trainers in the world and probably the greatest scenting dog trainer that ever lived and just so these dogs are kind of a combination of all those different dogs you can see here they're kind of just spread out all over the place in here it's beautiful down here we had a about a two inch rain yesterday and there he is with his stick and it come running back towards me right here Recess at Antler Ridge. It's a beautiful morning down here. This is sports uh, introduction to the creeks. All these other dogs. You see the sunlight coming through the trees here. Beautiful.